And hello, Eric the Streaming Guy here, and welcome. Today we're going to discuss some tips based on yourhost.com's live streaming field testing with Wirecast, Black Magic Intensity Extreme, and other Firewire capture systems on a Mac. We have found that there are two types of live streaming users. One is mobile and the other is stationary. We're going to concentrate on the mobile user, which will mostly apply to both mobile and stationary users, making for trouble-free live streaming sessions using Wirecast, Associated Hardware, and Yourhost.com CDN. Hey, did you know that Yourhost.com is a Wirecast software partner? This means that if you call us, we can give you some discounts on Wirecast and other Telestream products. Give us a ring. We've also found that if you have a MacBook or an iMac, that they will perform the best if you have at least 8 gigs of RAM installed. So let's get started by opening Wirecast and configuring some of your preferences that we found to be beneficial. As you can see, Wirecast for the first time opens in a new untitled project it may not be seen full screen, so let's full screen it. And let's go make our changes to preferences. I'm going to go to Wirecast, Preferences, and in the general area. In the general area, you'll see there's three boxes. We want to check all three of those. Trust me, you'll enjoy it. One more detail, let's go to the Wirecast layout area. And if you'll notice the screen change when I check these boxes. We're going to check all of these boxes. Preview, Output Statistics, and Layer Panel. Layers are going to be one of the most important things and part of streaming that you'll be using and we'll cover that at a later time. At this point you want to save your project. So let's save our project. Okay, so now we're going to save this and you know what, I would suggest that you make it in a new folder. We're going to call the folder New Live Stream. Create that folder, and then we're going to call this our new live test. And there we go, that's as simple as, as that. Now you're ready to get your cameras and streaming configurations set up in Wirecast. Okay, stop taking notes. You can stream this from your iPhone or your phones as a reference, or go to yourhost.com knowledge base and use the keywords Wirecast Mobile Users. At this point, save your Wirecast project again. If you do not have all your Thunderbolt, Firewire, and USB capture devices and cables plugged into your Mac, then you should turn off your Mac now and connect everything while your Mac is off. Mobile users, each time you set up, make sure your Mac is completely turned off and not in the standby mode or sleep mode. It will cause you grief. And right now, you don't need to have your cameras and audio turned on at this time. Any IP cameras or what have you, don't worry about it. Just go on to tutorial part three.